Hey you guys, it's your girl Miss Hazel I785. Coming to you with another video. I hope y'all can hear me very good. Um, the husband is in the living room cleaning up, playing music or whatever. And it is just me and Miss Kazi Michelle. She is very, very, very cranky. <laughs> uh, because she is sleepy. It is 1030 here. And um, she doesn't go to sleep until about 12. Um, she doesn't go to sleep until about 12 o'clock. She gets to bed at 11.30 and then sleep by 12. Okay. So, what I wanted to um, come to you about um, today is I wanted to give you uh, what I call my truth. Okay. So, um, some of you know, last year I was in the process of doing, um, weight loss surgery. Um, I had to go through classes and everything like that, but I didn't finish my classes, um, because I got pregnant with Kylie. So, um, here lately, I don't know if it's because of the baby or whatever, but I have been very self-conscious. I am back to the weight. I'm actually a little bit under the um, my starting weight. I weigh about 275 right now. That was less than what I weighed before I got pregnant with Kaylee. But here lately, I've been really, really self-conscious about my body. I'm not flabby, um, but I'm not solid as I used to be um, before. So it's made me a really, it's made me really self-conscious. Um, when I say self-conscious, very self-conscious. Now, if you are not into weight loss surgery or if you don't, this is not about makeup. This is not about hair. This, excuse me, this is about, it's not about Kylie, Kaylee, my husband. It is not about any about, this is about me. So just so you won't go um if you don't want to hear about this please click off now i won't have any hard feelings this is not about my views this is not how many subscribers i can get off of this this is not about any of this this is my truth what i wanted to say and i just feel like sharing it okay so i have been a big girl all my life all my life all my life I have been happy about being a big girl I've never actually been self-conscious but I've always just felt some type of way I am proud to be a big girl but at some point it becomes a health risk and at some point you get uncomfortable with yourself I hear people say, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. There's nothing wrong with you. You're fine. But at some point, you don't feel fine with yourself. And I'm at that point. I have two kids. And the size that I am, I'm not able to run and play or anything like that without getting tired and I don't want to be like that for my kids I want to be able to be alive to see my grandkids right now I have high blood pressure I have irritable bowel syndrome I have um, HS which is a condition um, dealing with chronic boils throughout my body I have a I have asthma I have a lot of health issues some of it is with my weight and some of it isn't with my weight it has gotten to a point where I am depressed about it I am uncomfortable I see myself in pictures and I'm just like This is not 
a weight loss person talking about how I used to be. This is a fat chick talking about how I am now. At one point, I didn't want to lose weight because I was like, I got too many cute clothes. And then I had to realize, is your health worth those clothes? Your, am I able to run around with my kids because of my weight? And the answer was no. So, I'm constantly asking my husband, are you attracted to me? Do you like the way I look? And of course, that's my husband, so he's going to say yes. But then I had to sit down and I had to think about it. Am I attracted to myself? And that answer is no. I am to the point where I just... Something has to give. And something has to change. I don't constantly eat bad. I have trained myself to eat good. I drink plenty of water. I have changed the way I eat. It's just when I got pregnant, you know, I ate how I wanted to eat. But lo and behold, I didn't even really gain that much. And I lost it already. The only problem is right now is that now that Kylie is born, she's going on two months old, now is the time for me to get back on the dream for me. I have to do something for me. I have to be able to be happy with me. So, at one point I had decided not to proceed with my weight loss surgery. At this point, I have changed my mind. I am going to proceed with it. I am going to continue on my health journey. Um, let me explain. When I was growing up, I was told, you are fat, you need to push away from the table, you um, eat too much, you need to go run around the block a couple of times. Now, this was from my family, from my family that told me this. So, this was, this was like... If my family thinks of me this way, then how does everybody else perceive me? Now, this is like five years old, six years old, I'm being told this. I just knew I like chicken. You know what I'm saying? But it had got to a point where it was just that I didn't, I wasn't comfortable. I wasn't you know, able to do the things that I wanted to do. So when you get to a point in your life where you're not comfortable in your own skin, you don't feel like everyone else is comfortable, i.e. your wife, i.e. your husband, i.e. you know, yourself, period. Some things have to change. So at that point, I was like, I knew I had to do something. I have to I have to change me. At first, I was like, to be honest, I want to change how I look so my husband would look at me different. That's how I felt. But then I had to look at myself. It's like I wanted to look at myself different. I felt self-conscious, like I wasn't happy with myself, and I didn't think that he is happy with me either. He can tell me all he wants to, but I don't feel that way. I don't feel sexy anymore. I don't feel loved anymore. I don't feel like he wants me anymore because I'm not the same size that I was when we first met. I'm not. Hell, he isn't either. But I love every part of him and I show it. But sometimes I don't get that. And I understand with men, it's just different. Some men are affectionate. Some men are just that, oh my God. And my husband is not like that which is fine that's just who he is but at this point in my life I just feel like I had to do something I just feel like I have to do it for me when you have been ridiculed all your life 
about how much how big you are how much you should be ashamed of yourself that will bring your self-esteem down to nothing I have an aunt who used to be big like I am now I'm pretty much the same size that she was when I was younger she used to teach me how to you know shop for myself as a big you know as a big girl and I never forget the day that you know she had had she had a gastric bypass and I never forget the day that along with my sister who's skinny made fun of me made fun of who how how I looked and how much I weighed and I was younger and I wanted to say to her how dare you you have been in my position you have been in my shoes you have been made fun of. So how dare you turn around and do it to me knowing how it will make someone feel. You don't feel like you want to be a part of society when somebody has broken you down. You know? I'm just like everybody else. I'm just like every other woman. I want to feel loved and I want to feel sexy and I want to feel like somebody wants me. But it has to start with me. I can't depend on my husband. I can't depend on anybody else to make me feel beautiful if I don't make myself feel beautiful. So I have to particularly work on myself. And again, like I said, this is my truth. This is how I feel. You go through transitions and you go through, oh, you're fine and okay, you're, you're, you look good and everything like that. But when you, have, when you have to go to specialty stores and you have to go to Lane Bryant and you have to, you're limited at Ross and limited on everywhere else, you shop at on what you can find, that gets hard for you. I put on makeup because I feel like makeup makes me feel better. And I feel like makeup makes me look better. I may be fat, but my fucking makeup is on point. You understand what I'm saying? I might be fat, but my fucking eyebrows are on point, bitch. What? I might be fat, but goddamn, I can work the shit out of some fucking concealer and foundation. But when my makeup comes off, my truth is staring back at me. I just want to say this. If you are a person that is, that has a child that is overweight, Make sure if you want your child to lose weight, go about it the right fucking way. Don't let other people bring them down. Don't let other people talk down to them. And don't let other people make them feel like they're shit just because they eat. You understand what I'm saying? You teach them how to eat the right way. You teach them how to go walking and exercise the right way. You don't let others bring them down because then that makes them self-conscious and that makes them question how beautiful they are. Nothing in this world is harder than to not love yourself. I might smile 
and I might just say, yes, yes, Tunsi, I'm a big bitch, yes, but deep inside, I'm hurting. Don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to be a size 2, size 8, or anything like that. I just want to get to a size where I'm comfortable and that I like. Being a big girl is sometimes very hard. It's very hard. I feel like now is the time for me to get myself together. I have to, I'm married. I have two kids. I have two kids. I never, ever thought that I would have kids. But I have kids. So again, you look at these things and you try to you just try to do better. So I decided on Monday, I believe I only had like two more months of classes. You get a month a class a month and I had like two more classes to go before I can have my surgery so after that I'm going to um, Monday I'm going to call hopefully I can get in a class next week and then um, get in the class so by August or the end of June um, end of July I'll be done have my surgery. I'm ready. I think it's for the best. And like I said, I just have to be better for myself and for my kids and for my husband. So, thanks for listening. If you've made it all the way through <laughs> um, my video, as you can see, I've been fighting back tears since I started talking. But, um, Thanks for listening. Thanks.